What is going on guys, my name is TheBenster and welcome back to another Gary's Mod Tool tutorial. In this one we're going to be looking at the light tool. Um, it's very similar to the lamp tool, but it's, it's slightly different. It's similar in concept, but different to how it looks and stuff. So, looking at the, the menu, the first thing we've got is a toggle key. So I've got mine as numpad slash, which is just easy enough to remember. Uh, we've got rope length, which is when you click for this tool, it sort of hangs down from the roof, and this is how long you want the rope to be. So if I just go under the map here, into this bit, if I sort of got the rope length on about 100, see it drops down, and that's the length of the rope. If you have it on zero, it'll just stay flush to the roof. Um, brightness is pretty much, as you saw, it was very bright, so if you dim that, it looks a bit more ominous. And radius is just how, how wide the light is, really, so if you have it on full, you know it casts the light a lot but if you have it on lower you know it's very localized and you've got your toggle for your numpad so it either stays if you unclick it sorry then you can use your toggle to hold it but remember if it's off you have to hold your slash to turn it on whereas if you have it on you press it once to turn it on and off and you've got your color so just Pick a nice colour, get it nice and bright, get some radius up on that thing and a bit of rope length. There you go, you've suddenly turned your underground lair into what would appear to be some sort of playboy house by the look of it. And that's pretty much the lamp tool. It's really useful for things like houses and you know, even just for lighting up areas of the map like this. But that's all you can really do with it. Um, you know, if you were wanting to use headlights and things like that, I would more recommend the the lamp tool than the light tool because this one's more for just interior lighting and stuff like that. But that is pretty much all you can do with that tool. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, join us next time when we'll be looking at the no collide tool, which is a nice simple one. So yeah, I will see you in that video.